<laughs> Hitting on twos, please. Look at that. How many dice did he just throw? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Estimating about 30 dice. What the frick is going on? What is he doing? Hello there, great person, and welcome back to Let's Dive into Warhammer 40k. Today we will do something I like wanted to do for a long time. I never knew how to do it, and I still don't know if this will work, so we will just try it out. Uh, so I will react to a video called uh, Bricky vs Nick. So it's it's a Warhammer tabletop game, and as you might know, I wanted to see a game play out. And uh, you told me there were battle reports. I liked that, but I didn't know if I could react to something like that. And I like I was like, ah, better not try if it doesn't work. But uh, this thing here seems to be pretty cool. So uh, we'll just try it. I, I will try to watch it. Bear in mind, I have no idea about the rules. And um, so I might be confused. And I like, at least I might look at some cool visuals, like some cool painted figures. Oh, yeah. And uh, in the Discord, you've painted, uh, posted some awesomely painted figures as well. Like, you are so awesome. Like, uh, uh, like, like the orange ones from today, I think, or yesterday, so good. I will try to be on Discord more uh, as well. But uh, yeah, also let me know. I want to dive into uh, Warhammer lore as well a bit. Like not as as much probably as into 40k, but I like because I know it exists and I know that the guy who reads my horror stories uh, will probably have a, a speaking role in one of the upcoming games, and I probably want to uh, see what he does there. So I will uh, I will try to uh, like I, I want to get into that as well. So if there's something like Bricky's 40k thing for a Warhammer like the normal one, uh, please let me know because I want to get to know that a bit as well. Uh, and if this works and if there are other videos where there are like these tabletop battles and you like them, we can do them as well because I like, like I said, I will probably not be able to afford the figures right now because obviously the children are here now and I have to spend my money on other things. Um, but yeah, I want down the line, I want to buy some. Can't wait for that. Um, and yeah, let, let's just see what they do here and have some fun with it. And uh, yeah, also let me know what you think about my new intro. Will be up in a moment, but uh, and also yeah, consider liking, subscribing if you enjoy the content. And uh, the uh, Lionel Johnson video will come soon. It's a long video to react to by Luton, but uh, I will probably do it tomorrow, and you will see it next week or something. And uh, yeah, also check out my um, Attack on Titan reactions. They will be out probably coming starting tomorrow, and. Uh, yeah, also check out my One Piece reactions because uh, they like One Piece seems to be really cool. I just recently started doing them again. So anyway, it was enough talking of an idiot here. Let's watch some brilliant tactical stuff that I will probably not understand. And we will have some fun with it. Marvel at some figures at least, I hope. And uh, here we go. Doch ich frag, ich frag mich, wer wir sind. So here we are. So uh, on the right side, we have Bricky with what appears to be the Adeptus Sororitas. Oh, by the way, I want to hear lore about them. Uh, if someone has a good lore video on the Adeptus Sororitas, I think I did one. I think uh, Bricky had a video when he talked about uh, the armies you could use as a beginner. Um, but I need more lore because they look so awesome. Like, look at this. Like already, like this golden armor, the wings, the halo, this angelic theme. I love it. I love it. And like it's basically killer nuns. I love it. And on the on the left hand side, we've got this person who's probably Nick. Hope uh, hope he has a good day. <laughs> and he's got the Tau. And I've been told Tau are scummy. Let's see if they are really scummy. Can't wait to get into this. Also, if one of these uh, people sees this video and is like, yeah, man, don't react to it. I, I will take this down, of course, like, I don't want to leech off their content, I just want to know what this is, I want to see a game, and I mean, like, if they down the line say, yeah, man, it's not good, like, I will, of course, not, like, I will take it down, but I think, at least for, for starting this, it's probably going to be very fun, so let's, let's see, let's see what they have, let's see what they have, yeah, I, I skipped ahead a bit to see what they do, like, the format, they had a, a cool terrain, but, yeah. Plasma versus Prometheus. Plasma versus, I'm sorry, oh god, oh god, this, this might be a very long video. So Plasma is of course uh, uh, the, the, the Tau, I think they use Plasma weapons. Plasma weapons, by the way, 
Um, what are they? They are basically shooting hot metal. And it's not metal. I, like, it's if you go, I'm sorry, physicist, yeah, I just need to get this out of my soul. So if you have plasma is like the, the hottest thing, uh, like um, uh, it's, it's, it's like every particle, every proton, neutron, electron is like floating around each other, so to speak, in this liquid thing. It's very, very energetic and hot. So I guess they throw that around. Um, and yeah, Prometheus, why, 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 why do the sisters have Prometheus? Like that's, he's the guy who gave us fire, according to Greek mythology, what, why? Anyway, anyway, I already started with my, my, my things. Anyway, let's like, they, they look awesome. Let's, Greater let's see. Versus the Emperor's Holy Wrath. Whose dogma prevails? This is 40K in 40 minutes, Sister Act 40,000, the Fish of Fury fry up. Oh, they look so awesome. Look at these. Oh, man. Oh, I want to paint once myself and I don't have the time. Oh, man, it looks so awesome. Why? Oh, God. Why is there a cherub with a skull? Cherub with a skull is weird. I mean, look, and it has a keychain. That's so weird. I mean, is it one of these servitors? I think you've explained this one already to me about what watch why. Treat for you. Ooh, look at the muzzle flash from the tau gun here. Why does she have pigeons? There's so much already. Oh god, I'm never. <laughs> it is 50 minutes. We'll be here all day. Ricky is in studio today with his sisters to play Taunik in what promises to be a slam bag knockdown drag out of a match. Yeah, look at this one. This one looks so awesome with the with the pigeons. Like pigeons in war, it's like so aft. If you know the mythology behind that from Christianity and Judaism. Taunik is back to his roots as an agent of the greater good, bringing back a classic list in what oh, was once known as the Fish of Fury. He's looking to sweep some sisters from the sector too sweet. Oh, so that thing, I'm sorry, that thing used propellers? To levitate, so it's a hovercraft. Hello, everyone. So Tower of Hovercraft. Ricky, and I am joined here you can't use the that in, in the on the moon. That's a bit stupid. Why would they have that? Away from my home in California to play my favorite faction in all of 40k, the Sisters of Battle. Oh Ricky man. Isn't necessarily known for his Warhammer content. However, he's a big fan of the lore, the setting, as well as the game. And did did what, wait? Did did he just say Bricky's not known for his content? What? Why? Why would you say that? That's the only thing I know him from. I don't even know what else he does. I should check that out, perhaps. But uh, <laughs> look at Nurgle. Nurgle cooking. Cooking for Bricky. Having some fun. <laughs> Whatever. And he's created his own universe on YouTube where you can watch him play all the games and do all of the things. Oh, that's his so cool. Yeah. Must look to roast some Tau in holy fire in the Emperor's name. Sisters are one of my favorites just because of the absolute amount of shenanigans they bring to the table. If I need dice to be replaced for any kind of random miracle, I've got it. A hammerhead. Okay, so you can replace dice. Um, that's cool. So I guess it's like if you have a D6 and you have an, a eunuch that once a turn can turn that into a D12. Edge shot me and I need a spike and immediate six up invul. I've got it. Berkey's got two cannon S, one with saintly example and the other with litanies of faith, an imagifier, Junitharita, a palatine with the blade of St. Eleanor. A palatine, is that the angel thing? Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't really know these yet in lore. That's what I said, I need the sister's lore, I love. I think I did, did like, they, they I covered them a bit, but I, like, because they are so interestingly, like, what are they? It's so weird, their design is one of the coolest ones. I think there are designers from the human factions, the coolest ones. I don't know. Like, I, I remember seeing the first picture in one of Luton's law videos of one of the sisters, and they, she looked so badass, and man, it's so cool. I also like the names for the attacks they have, like and the litany of something. Celestine. He's got three Battle Sister squads, a dedicated transport in his Sororitas Rhino, two oh, squads great. of Arco Flagellants, a Dominion squad, an Exorcist tank, Three mortifiers is exorcist tag be exercised with bullets. <laughs> individual units, three. Oh, what were they? Oh, they look so weird. Are they from chaos or are they servitors as well? Penitent engines as individual units. Yeah, okay. So, penitent engine seems like someone that is like doing penance in that thing here. Uh, a squad of sisters repentia, two squads of retributors, both with multi meltas, seraphim squad, and a vindicare assassin just for the extra shooty shooty bang bang. I'm here because you, fans of Play on Tabletop, have requested that I come out here and play at games, and you reached out to me and I said, of course.
Yeah, I, I, that's the guy he is. Like, like I, as I said, I think I've seen three videos of his. I love them a lot. Like, I, I, I like Luton's detail to lore, but Bricky has this energy that um, you really get, like, you get the feeling that he just, like, burns for this hobby. I love that about him. You Obviously, see it here as well. And again. I get to play Tao Nick. He likes Tao, I've been told. Hey, folks. Didn't he say in one video that he hates Tao? It's gonna be so Nick stupid. Here, and we are playing oh, great, you're good. Uh, I see what you did. Tau. That's so cool. So far, I've done really well with my Tao in 10th edition, but I'm up against a new opponent, one that I've never played before. Ooh, Nick interesting. Counters yeah. With three Kadra Fireblades, a commander in a crisis battle suit, a commander in an enforcer battle suit. So let me see the commander in the whatever battle suit. He's got lightning. I guess so. He's got charges um, and he's got a weird shield. I like the. Like, it's often in sci fi, it's done that the shields have these. Um, what are they called? Do that beast do? Comms. Comm shapes. I love that. Like, this comm pattern. I love it in sci fi as a, as a shield. With the exemplar of the Kalyan, an ethereal with through unity devastation. Ah, uh, look at that. I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is so cool. Look at this tower. It's just like burning, blowing up. You see the magma. Oh, man. Yeah. Also, is this the real terrain they're going to play in, or is this some other terrain? Like when I skipped through the video, like I skipped through frames to see if it was something like if it, they just read something or showed something, they showed something. And I saw they had terrain, but I couldn't see it. So a firesight team with precision of the patient hunter. And of course, my favorite, your favorite, long strike. Is long strike a man, a Tau man thing fish? I think they're fish people. Or is it the tank or is it the class of tank? Ah, oh, Tau looks so cool. I love their design. Got three so cool. I love the cleanness of their design. It fits so well to their creatures. themes. Hence, the Fish of Fury. A squad of broadside battle suits, some crisis battle suits, a Skyray gunship, stealth battle suits, a Sunshark bomber, and two Tetras. I'm oh, it's the bomber. It's the bomber that has the fire. That's so a cool. I'm worried about his walkers. Those pendant engines, I don't really have a great answer to them and especially in close combat if he gets in whatever he gets into will be dead i really don't have another option so, <laughs> so cool. before they get there hammerheads and broadsides to the rescue so my game plan is very simple it's oops all war crimes sisters really good at that stuff i flew an entire country away specifically to teach the tau that they are not made in humanity's image <laughs> that's so cool uh, I wonder though, like he had to carry his whole army. Isn't that like logistically very difficult? Like, I like how do they even make sure that you can transport them? Can, is that easy or is that bad? And uh, I can't wait for that. Today's mission is sweeping engagement, so we're going to be using long edges with an angle deployment. Okay, long edges. I guess the zones here are where they can place down their units. Still don't know how you do that. Like, do you do it one like one unit squad thing each, or how do you place them down? And so you do you have to, you, I think you have to get points in the end, so. Special mission rule is Vox static, so two command points for rerolls and for new orders. And the ritual mission, players are... Remove all objective markers in no man's land except for the one closest to the center in each player's shooting phase. A unit can place an objective in no man's land. Oh, okay, so you can like take markers like capture the flag stuff and you get more victory points. That's cool. Are going to be also very high quality video no land how they explain it here as for secondaries tactical every day it's more fun it's apparently better but i don't really care about that drawing look at that it's so cool like i wonder what material these stones are made from so awesome so awesome yeah and the hedge here i really like the hedge and the the broken bunker here I would love to 3D print stuff like this one day. I have to get my 3D printer set up. He's uh, the he, it is behind the the, the green screen currently. So is fun. So tactical it is. Deploy, meant. Welcome to the studio. Welcome here. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm excited to kill some sisters. Oh, you can. <laughs> Don't, don't, don't take that out of context. Try. <laughs> <laughs> you can try. <laughs> that was fun. Looks like oh, man, there's some the having fun already. I like that. All six of the engines are in reserve. The Repentia are going to go into the Rhino. The Arco Flagellants are also going to go into the Rhino. 
The Breachers are in the Devilfish three times, Crisis Suits and Enforcers in Deep Strike, and the Crisis Commander is in Reserve going solo. Who's that? So Reserve, I guess, is you can... Like, either you can call them from the field, and then, or I don't know. Um, I also like that uh, you can, like, put things in the tanks to move them quicker. I mean, it's completely logical and basic, like, but I love it. I was deploying first. All right. Looks like it's me. In a okay, so... So you throw the dice and then... Move to shock the world. The exorcist is going behind line of sight. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. That's cool. Yeah, that's like, like oh, that's what I would have guessed. It's uh, like I said, so you throw dice and the one who starts can place its first unit and then the other one can place it. I wonder what if there is cover damage. There probably is. There's probably also terrain damage. You know, I've got Warhammer, uh, uh, the... the, the uh, Dawn of War, no, no, what is it called? Total War. I think I've got normal Warhammer Total War. I never played it. I still, I have it because it was once in sale and I like bought it. So like, because this feels like very computer gamey and I love it. Devilfish number one. 10 battle sisters and possibly just maybe a character to go along with them. Okay. Okay, so he can place them wherever he wants. How many can he place? Is it like a point limit he can place each round? Cannon S, one might say. You know what? Let's keep it things interesting and go devilfish number two. Ooh. Why are they called devilfish? Oh yeah, because they're fish people. Still, I it's interesting. They have the, the, the hovercraft mechanics on the devilfish. So that means they can't fight in space and on moons. It's so weird. But I, yeah, I don't know. I, I would need more lore on that. It looks so awesome, the battlefield. On the line. Another devilfish. Wow. On the <laughs> devilfish. I will just do devilfish. I'm, I'm, I'm shaking in my jorts. This is a squad of Dominion sisters. Tetras would like to go down and they'd like to hide. Way back. So can you climb the territory here or is it just like um, obstacles? Because that would probably be very OP for the like sharpshooters and stuff. Back here. Taking a look at deployment here, and suddenly he's apparently in neither player's dictionary. Both players are deployed pretty much on the line. Both of them seem to be chomping at the bit, or perhaps... Oh, okay, okay. So their tactic is here to, like, put them on the line, but in cover. So the line is where... I mean, it makes... I wonder how many tactics there are, like, not putting them on the line, but putting them to the, to the rear. I guess because you have to uh, um, capture the objective, that would be stupid. So they probably will r try to rush the objectives. But aren't Tau good at that? Because Tau are, as far as I've heard in my comments, are sharp, like, like ranged shooters and stuff. So I don't know, can they capture stuff? Like they can probably like um, fire at stuff a lot, like at, like and make sure no one else is there, but can they themselves take stuff? Bubbling at the gills to get to grips with the enemy. This is going to be, and say it with me now. Oh yeah, 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 see, see, see. He's putting it on the, he, the thing. He's putting it on the rock. That's what I th said. It's also Brickies, it's not the Tau. So he's got like a commander or sharpshooter on the rocks. Are they made for that, the rocks? How many things can you place on rocks? So many questions. An absolute slobberknocker. Thanks, team. Oh, they look so awesome, Whoa! the things. Right here, we've done... Perchance, is that on the line? <laughs> no. Now it is. <laughs> Rod sides. Oh, they've got the sticks. I think the sticks measure the distance you can go. That's cool. I think I've heard that somewhere. And then I've got one last unit to place down, and that is my fire sight. No. Nope. Fire. No. Nope. Light. Fire tight. <laughs> Dire fright. My sniper. Yes. Here. As you see, look at Yeah, I'm sniper. Doing. See? All right, let's do it. Zones have no purpose anymore. Are those each of his shots? Yeah. What? Oh, wow. Oh, so that sniper can do like three shots and that's what he symbolizes with the drones. Ah, oh, the drones also look so awesome. Bring it! Come on. Oh, yeah, joy. let's it's go. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh! What was that about rolling sixes? Yeah! Let's go. Faith, I've been rewarded. This episode is brought to you by our friends at GameMat.eu. GameMat.eu makes fantastic mats and amazing terrain ready to go. Okay, normally I skip sponsorships, but shoutouts to them, that looks awesome. Like, I don't know, what, like, like you can probably, I like, if I would have created my own ones, and I might do that one day, and like, you know, it would be so awesome to 
I don't know. And some years go to a convention somewhere in Germany and like meet some of you and uh, perhaps uh, we can look at some of the stuff. And uh, like, but but I would like create like a map with Photoshop with some sprites and like do my best. But yeah. Also, I uh, wonder if these uh, structures are somewhere like if there are fan sites where where you uh, where you collect them or stuff. You know, like like is is there like a, a page where there are ideas for terrain and stuff? That would be very very cool to know. I mean, it's not yet something I need, but you know, it's. Oh, right out of the box. No painting, no nothing. Just unpack it and play. But that's not all. They okay, so 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 it is their stuff. So so they create this. I still wonder if there's a fan page. Let me know. Perhaps for like reference in the future, in the far in the far grimdark future. They also carry a full line of other tabletop games, including a full line of games workshop product. They also ship worldwide, so you can build the battlefield of your dreams with just a few clicks. Yeah, but but I honestly think most of this could be three D printed. Uh, I don't know. Has any one of you uh, had experience with three uh, D printing these things? Now back to the action. Anyway, it still looks cool. Round one. Okay. Thank goodness. First turn. I needed that really badly. Tau shoot really hard. I deployed on the line mainly for my own gusto, I heard that. but um, it, it, <laughs> that may have been a mistake. So thank goodness for that. Emperor, emperor, truly. Faith, reward it. So first things first, we have a six inch scout move because the Palatine is combined with a group of dominions. Let's get... Okay, so we've got a unit uh, uh, effects that they can like use. Like there are st special rules apparently when units move together. That's pretty cool. So you are incentivized to create certain um, synergies. But you're also incentivized to be really creative and do some like bullshit <laughs> that will work in the end. <laughs> them moving start of bricky's turn one and he's got himself two miracle dice both sixes oh boy here we go both sixes the god of lag was with you mate uh something else i would love to know is like yes he's moving these battalions six inches but like do you just move the front one and the other one you like distribute the way you want or is it like could you make them a v formation somehow and yeah. He's drawn air denial and cleanse and gets an extra command point from Okay, so they will draw uh missions. I guess if they throw a six, roll the six, I d I don't know, but be wholly within the center of the battlefield, score at the end of your turn. Okay, okay. So Okay. Select a unit in your shooting phase. It cannot shoot or charge. Score by cleansing an object the unit controls. Ah, you can cleanse. Okay. Can all units cleanse? Like, could a Tyranid cleanse a Sororitas thing? Judith Eureta. Movement phase. Aggression continues to be the key to Bricky's tactics here. He's yeah, you have to do that, I guess, as against Tom. As possibly can. He's moving up into position to ritual and to drop another objective. My main... Yes, he, he's putting them in a line. I wonder if that has a purpose. The goal is to move all the infantry into all the little nooks and crannies that go on with the entire map. The whole reason for this is not only to try to get up to some objectives, place my own objectives for the ritual, but also to funnel all of his units into firing lanes for me. Judith and her friends will be placing down an objective at the end of the turn right here. The Rhino will begin its firing directly upon thine devil fish. Thine okay, okay, so they have to be in line of sight, and I guess it's from the turret, like on the model, because that was the animation. Nine devilfish. Nine devilfish. And a rhino shall lead them. Five wounds to the devilfish. And a melter shall finish it off. Nope. We will now fire. <laughs> and a melter shall finish it off. Nope. <laughs> that's cool. That's funny. But but so they've got... So the, the dice are put on the tanks to indicate the uh, amount of damage. That's cool. But do you need extra dice for everything? The beautiful melter squad right here. All the Meltas in the Dominion squad need to kill this devilfish now because we are Meltas because I think Meltas are obviously also something like a very superheated plasma weapon. Do are they needed to crush the tanks? I guess there is certain a special tank damage you can perhaps deal. That would be cool. Need to blunt the movement of the Tau. Melta squad now using a miracle dice to hit for sure. Wounds into the devilfish does seven damage and it's dead. 
And wow. The devilfish explodes. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> it can explode. And you have to roll dice. That's kind of funny. My devilfish has exploded in my back line. I love this for how cinematic it is, but I hate it for how much it kills my guys. <laughs> That's so, so cool. Hammerhead. Long strike takes one mortal wound. My infantry right here take one mortal wound. Lastly, my tetras take two mortal wounds. So you get mortal wounds. Are mortal wounds like just they die or is it something that certain humans can heal? Nothing. That was an yes. incredible roll. Excellent. I'm not gonna give you an easy charge here. And another miracle dice for a six. This is fantastic for Bur You know what I think, um, and I don't know if that is often, why is there an org with the teleprompter? <laughs> they just are shitting, right? That's so dumb. Oh God. Anyway, what I wanted to say is, uh, how easy can you destroy a tank? This seemed pretty easy. What was that luck or not? Berkey, what a start. This squad of girls will begin firing upon thine devilfish. Some more melt of madness and a chair of reroll for one. That makes a six. Full saves. Full saves. Down to six. Exorcist, it will begin her firepower. Yeah, they like he targeted one other tank and it seems to be damaged. Like, I'm sorry, I don't know the specifics, but it's like seems pretty easy to kill a tank. And I know these models are expensive. Like, should you get tanks or should you get a thousand thermo guns? You need a thousand term against you and win everything, you will just swarm them. Here comes the organ gun. Gotta love it when the church starts firing melta gun. How much damage does it do? <laughs> ah! <laughs> you didn't have not used it yet! <laughs> oh, six damage. That goes another devilfish down. Heavy bol bolters yeah. into a devilfish. Oh. I will uh, intentionally fail a single one of these for a one. Cherub to get a new one because this squad is uh, retributors, they reroll ones to wound. So, in a sense, I'm not losing anything. I, I don't know what he's talking about. Fives seems very one, probably very intelligent. We'll reroll that other one from the miracle dice. What is a miracle dice? Is it miracle dice a dice you use for special effects, or is it just I don't know? Save two of them, and we will see what our new miracle dice may become a four. I will fire upon him. Yes. Once. 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 No! We knew what happened! <laughs> <laughs> what's going on? Why are they having fun? So apparently the, the, the sharpshooter's shooting once. <laughs> Charge <laughs> phase. Oh, yeah, what are you Charge phase, what yeah. Nine? Yeah, I heard that. They have different phases. I know that much. So, and it's interesting that Bricky can just do all his phases. Isn't that overpowered? Like, is the game that balanced that you do not lose instantly with the other person charges you? I mean, obviously it isn't because otherwise no one would play it. But like, to me, it just seems like, A, he just shot down two tanks. Like, isn't that like, he, they almost won? Like, what's happening? An inch charge we have here. Nick spending his command point here on fo Photon grenades, what is a photon? Physicist talks, it's energy. It's just like energy. So, uh, I don't know what a photon grenade would do. Melt stuff or blind stuff, both possible. Photon grenades to make that. So I will, you know what I will do because I cannot con contribute valuable commentary on what exactly is going on here. Like I get the gist and it's very cool and I would love to play this game already. Like they would love to do that. And I know who I will pick as my starting army. I know that. I think. I think I'm pretty sure. Anyway, so, but, but, you know, I can at least do some science commentary on what they're using, even if, like, whatever. Charge a little bit longer and it fails. All right, I believe. You know, I can do the physicist Rex to thing in the title. It's even true, but My turn is <laughs> I don't even know if people, like, if, if you see, if you see a title physicist Rex to, are you, like, inclined to click on the video? Are you like, nah, man, not gonna do that. Like, I, I, I would love to know because I sometimes did it. I think it was rather de detrimental and not like, I, I ramble, I'm sorry. Let's focus on the game. Let's focus on Bricky kicking ass because I know Bricky and I don't know the other guy. So I am, I am, I'm on Bricky's side naturally. That's how the things go. It's also like, I watch sports like this. If I know someone, or if someone's from my town or something, I would just go for them even though I know nothing. So I'm like not standing around rooting for no one. So I root for Bricky here. And because Tower are apparently scumbags. But that's also something Bricky told me. Ooh, that looks cool as a city. Okay, okay, so this is...
So they, they need victory points. But if they say round one's over, like, Nick didn't do anything. Your face is to shoot the transports. How's Nick gonna respond? Oh, okay, so now it's his turn. I love the symbol. Nick up to a command point, Brigadier 3, and Nick's pulled behind enemy lines and a tempting target. That tempting target is a little bit tough to get. I'm gonna have to sacrifice a unit of breachers. Is five points worth a whole unit of breachers? It is if I can really damage his squad there, so let's find out. And then uh, I would love to know what they're talking about, but I love the tactical stuff, so apparently you, you like... I don't know if the if the objectives are on the field from the start or if they are put on the field when you draw the cards. Which is like, do they do you really draw the cards? That's so awesome. Oh man, it's so awesome. Oh, I want to I want to play this right now. <laughs> oh god, I would nerd out so much. Nick really needs to be mindful of close combat with the sisters. He has yeah, to plan his marker lights here that's true. as well as his guy. I know that much to maximize his effectiveness. My strike team is just gonna move over a little bit, just enough to still hold the objective, but be able to offer supporting fire. Oh, supporting fire. So is the objective like I know it's the uh hectagon, but is it only the hectagon or is it an area around it? I guess it's just a hectagon. The hectagon is uh, uh telling us what area the objective is, and like the strike from the center is probably the objective, like whatever it's supposed to be. Advancing devilfish or the fall. Oh, oh wow, that's oh, pretty far. Yeah, out. I mean it's a tank. <laughs> the infantry gets out. Sadly, infantry. Oh, it's so funny. Canada's Let's go. Giving squad Fire Overwatch. One unit can shoot an enemy unit that moved or charged as if it is your shooting phase. Okay, so you basically get extra damage. Full rerolls will overwatch those mid objective breachers. Takes Bricky down to two command points. Multi melter. Two shots. That's one, six, three. No. Oh, my faith is being tested. <laughs> Get out of here. My faith. Wounding on. I noticed that he's playing a bit like he's in the Empire of Humanity. Um, do you do that? Like, I would do that. Like, if I would be a Tyranid, I would be at your game. And I would also be like, everything that is done, I would just go. So you probably don't want me to pick Tyranids. Perhaps that is who I want to choose. Perhaps it's not. Perhaps I will just walk. Who knows? I will tell you one day when I can afford the armies. <laughs> four, four ups. You killed three. You know, in a sense, that's probably statistical. Then lastly, my stealth suits are going <gasps> to. I'm a mathematician. And I know statistics. Like statistics is like, I know a lot of statistics. That's my main area of, uh, of research in a way. So I would be good at this. No, I still have bad luck. Like, that's so stupid. Like, in, in movies, you always think people who know statistics win. And yes, on average, they do. But I'm a bad luck, bad luck asshole, so I always lose. So don't worry. Even though I know statistics a lot, Bayesian, all of it. But, man, I'm so, I'm so unlucky. <laughs> Move their eight inches. Putting them one inch away from putting an objective nine inches away right here. In the shooting phase, these guys are here. Are we gonna put down the ritual? Long strike starts the joy. No, because it's a two. Right? Would you? <gasps> but what would happen when you wound? <laughs> but what happened to you? He's like traumatized. It's a five. Oh, it hits. My faith in the God Emperor, truly. Yeah, he's doing that. I love that. Like, I would be so in character. I would probably like, if I had a Tyranid army, I would come dressed up as a Tyranid, as a as a Lictor, with like. <gasps> And you would be like, what's he doing? And I would be, I'm being in character for my Tyranids. Oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. But so uh, apparently Bricky is leading because he's got two CP. But the other guy's turn, like Nick's turn is not yet over. So I guess we don't know yet. It's actually pretty tense and fun. I like that. Like, like is this an, like, I would have almost said eSports. I know it's an eSports, of course not, but... Like, is this broadcast? That would be so fun. I think you could do this. Like, you could broadcast this. CP like, 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 imagine you had a cosplayer, like, at the side who knows the game very well and comments the, all the time. It would be so funny. Or perhaps too annoying. Only one CP, right? Nope! Oh, this it's, next one, it's two! It's two? I am down to three. All right, then I have two one-shot secret missiles. Fours. 
To wound! Follow up. Oh, don't roll a one, my friend. Four damage. <laughs> don't roll one, my friend, because then my tank's gonna explode in your face. It's done it. Finally, the rhino's down, and a third three for the miracle dice. The Arcos come on out. Their programming is ready. Oh, okay, so if the tank gets damaged, ah, I see, ah, that's why it exploded. If it explodes, all the people inside are dead. But if it doesn't explode, they just get out because, like, like the, the, the tank just, like, somewhere on a rock. Dead. Ready for problems. It was a pleasure to know you. Breachers are going to be guided by this unit. Uh, Interesting that the tank just, like, lasted two moves. Oh dear. What is he doing? Why is he taking all the dice and throwing them? It reminds me so much of Cones of Dunshire. Oh man, Parks was such an awesome show. Like, yeah, so if you have not watched Parks and Recreations, it's the best comedy show I know. And the most wholesome one. You know the Palatine lives. Like, like they all throw a thousand dice. What the frick are they doing? I guess it's for every unit one dies. That's fine. We had faith. Oh, that's also cool. So. I don't know if this is a thing, I'm just speculating. So if you have like 10 units as a battalion and you like throw the 10 dice and it's for every unit, if that's the case, if not, like just ignore what I'm just saying right now. Is it like you can choose who gets the wound or does the other person that wounds them gets to cho choose that? Like, oh, I would love to know that. And one person survived because we get miracle dice. A one. So the rest of the strike team that can see- What is a miracle dice? Oh. You know what? You don't have to tell me in the comments. I will look it up actually because I might watch another one of these. I, I don't know though. Like, I don't know if you like this, but. And wounds you three times. Three up it is then. <laughs> I believe you get a miracle dice for that one. I wish I did. <laughs> you should with these breaches right now. Wonderful. And they're going to be supported by this devil fish. I love the animation swirl. Fire upon my pulpit. Re rolling one. Three ups. We make two. Twos now. Yeah. It's interesting that I don't have snacks. I somehow expected them to have snacks at the side and eat something. Cool. Yeah. We lost another threes. Now fours. One, two, three more. So that means we lost six girls in total. The cut of fire blade also fires into that unit. Wounds you twice, no minus. Ricky spends his chair up to turn the three into a five and using Rejoice the Fallen for a command point down to two. Rejoice the Fallen. Oh, that's cool. To shoot back at Nick. Fours. Ah, I see. So you can use your CPs to do special stuff, I guess. Hurrah! One more dead breacher. Fire Slate Marksman is going to guide my breachers in firing into this sister squad. I'm... That's so cool. Yeah, so apparently... Like, I wonder how these uh, squad interactions uh, work. Like, these like, shooting into each other. I'm going to pop my Cannoness's two up in volt. Ha ha ha! Hitting on twos, please. Look at that. How many dice did he just throw? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Estimating about 30 dice. What the frick is going on? What is he doing? What the, what the frick is he doing? He's just throwing his thousand nine, uh, uh, dice. What? Faith in the Emperor. Guide my Him as well. <laughs> you just look at that. He just threw like 100 dice. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. And Cannon S, two up in save. We're good. Rejoice, sisters. You join the Emperor in light. And you get a Miracle Dice. Okay. What are these Miracle Dice? So I guess if uh, units die, you get a Miracle Dice to do special stuff? A one. Three shots from the Counter Fireblade. But luckily for me, I have a two up invul. We're good. All right, what's time for a railgun to you, killer? Oh my god. <laughs> so these a railgun is a gun where you like use magnetism to accelerate the projectile that's made from uh, magnetic material. Mostly iron. Um, and I don't know the others. And I and CO is the uh, periodic thing. And you can shoot them pretty, pretty quickly. I built a Gauss gun once in my lab. It was pretty effective against a box of things. I will not say any more because I might get into trouble because I was not allowed to build it. But I had to build it! You have to build these things if you can, if you have the things. I don't know. These stealth suits are going to spot these guys and guide the broadsides. Hurrah! Hit them all. Oh boy. Gauss so cannon is pretty man. powerful if used correctly. Like in real life, I mean. Up getting sixes? They, they, you know, the, the reason they don't have Gauss cannons currently is I think because the magnetic field would uh, consume too much energy to uh, uphold and uh, to uh, build up. 
for my invul save because the light of the emperor no we don't miracle dice pops a cherub turns a miracle dice from a one into a one <laughs> Oh, there are things gone. I don't know why. Oh God, yeah, the Gauss cannon is like artillery somehow. Though I would say Gauss cannon probably like doesn't fire in arches because it accelerates to almost linear trajectory. So I don't know why it can shoot through that uh, mountain there. Yeah, it would probably not be that much fun to play with me. I mean, it's four dice. If I roll a single one, that's all she wrote. That dead squad gives up a five on Miracle Dice. Bricky now has a five, two fours, two threes, and a one. And another one for the Miracle Dice pile. The last unit I have to fire is my Sky Ray. Tetra's right here. They're going to support the smart missile system. So far. Is that something? Can things uh, like uh, fire over or across uh, obstacles? And can they then fire across, like, like above, whatever you say? All obstacles, or is it like their height is that important? Here, let's just roll them up and see what we get. Oh, I love the, I love the look of all of this. All failed hit rolls. Hit once. Good for a four up invul save. We do not. At the end of my turn, these guys are here. They did not shoot. They will put down an objective. Indeed. Nick man. They will put down an objective. What? I don't understand that yet. I, I'm sorry if I just don't understand stuff. It's just yeah. So the the Tau F tactical mission total five. Okay. It's just five points for tempting tar target. Discards okay. behind enemy lines for a command point. Goes to two command points to Brookie's one. Brookie oh, okay. So you can discard your missions to get command points, but you probably would get more if you succeed in the missions. I think. He still has area denial and clan. So apparently Bricky is currently losing, even though he like nuked two tanks. And so he doesn't have to draw. Did I do enough? We'll find out because there's a lot of ladies that are very angry with my guys. <laughs> there's a lot of things coming in now and there's a lot of fire we're about to bring. Oh, by the way, did I tell you my fire, my flamers are strength six? Yes, no, I don't know what that means. Round two, okay. Start of his turn two, his miracle dice now. He's got a one, two threes, two fours, a five, and a six. Three. Okay, so apparently miracle dice are something you store somewhere as well. I noticed that. I guess you create them at the beginning of the of your phase, this, and then you put them somewhere. And uh, you can create others, of course, through uh, mechanics, but I guess that's then your special things. Three command points for Bricky and three command points for Nick. Five to nothing in Nick's favor. I am declaring this beautiful Palatine to make her way up. Overwatching some sisters is... One unit can shoot an enemy unit that moves for charge. Yeah, we saw that. I'm not sure it's the best choice, but it definitely is one. Yeah, they <laughs> again throw a thousand dice. You know what happens when someone dies, right? I spend one CP for divine intervention. One CP again. Yeah, I don't know how that works, but discard one, two, three miracle dice. The last. Oh yeah, it's like your mana, I think. Oh, there's a dead unit. That's a miracle dice and a command point for Bricky. I kind of feel like that was worth it, but maybe not. Oh, what are those? They look cool. We want that hunter killer missile. <laughs> there it comes. Destruction! Incoming reinforcement. Incoming! One penitent. Oh, I would love to like to take that <laughs> see a movie of this. All that infantry like Boimo. I know they work on some. But... All the options, it's right there. Celestine and her girls are coming down. Hmm, where do they want to go? Over here. Nick reacts with a zero command point rapid ingress. The bomber has arrived, hopefully to fly over. Oh, it looks so awesome! Divine. It's so cool that it has the structure beneath as an like pedestal to like fly, and the the explosion that it's such an awesome idea to create a model. Intervention with one wound remaining. We have a shooting phase ahead of us. Wound remaining. Does that mean you have to? Like dispel the wounds to die to make like beat them or is it like like is more or less wounds better? Aiming phase, but first. <laughs> Round what the two. frick! It's one. just shooting. We hit it. There you go. Oh, the sniper whiffs again. <laughs> the stupidest sniper of all times. 
<laughs> Look at his face, it's like he's crying inside though he's laughing. No. Turn back away, you you're <laughs> so stupid. Squad here was hit by a sniper shot. It did not wound, but it hit. Take a battle shock test. Oh yes indeed. Battle shot. They are shocked. Four hits. They are shocked. They are shocked by the stupidity of the sniper. <laughs> oh, man. Fours it is. I see none of them! Four pistols on threes. Fours. I see one, one goes through. One more. Killed another. D6 shots with the ardent blade. Wounds on threes because of your guardian. You killed three more! This okay, yeah, he's wiping them out pretty well. To move six inches after firing. That's a beautiful. multi melt Yes. Everything. Yeah, he's really using these melters. That's very cool. I also like how they barely got around the corner here. Like, uh, I'm sorry, yeah. You see that here, here. Like, like, he's barely around this corner. I don't know if that means anything, but. Into the devilfish. Threes. We will save a dice just in case we need to miracle it. Have some faith. Two wounds go through, and the first one does. Four. Four damage. Okay, so that brings me down to uh, seven wounds remaining. We will take a six. Yeah, okay, so the moons are their HP. Uh, wounds are their HP, I think. One. Let's give ourselves a new miracle dice for the cherub. This penitent engine will fire its flamers at the back squad in white. But aren't flames flamethrowers? Why are they shooting ranged? I've Four. not seen a Tau assholery here, though. Perhaps I just don't notice it. Oh my! Just one more to two go through, and you have damaged this guy. Goodness and killed this guy. Flamer coming in at the red squad. Two d six shots, wounding. Yeah. <laughs> what? What happened? I know exactly how to deal with the devil fish. It's our favorite word. Grenades? Grenades! <laughs> Spending a command point on grenades here. Okay, so you have grenades. I wonder what the grenades in 40k are made from. Like, they're not normal grenades. I don't think they're like, um, like, uh, they're probably sci-fi grenades. If I would write a sci-fi grenade from a physicist's point of view, what would I use? Uh... I would probably also use something like magnetizing little particles so that they are expelled from each other so it's a shrapnel. Here he's down to one command point left. One four. Explosion! No. Oh. Bye bye. Uh, fire upon the Tau currently on the objective. Bolters, they hit on twos. <gasps> All right. You have killed two more preachers. Junith, D6 shots with her twin Ministorum Flamer. Guardian drone ain't. Yeah, I also know he's just saying things I don't know, but at least uh, I think he's whittling down the command point, people. Nothing. You killed both creatures and one wound off of the Condor Fireblade. My single cannon nest here yeah. will cleanse. The backline mortifier will say we'll fire its double heavy bolters into the... Spot. Yeah, it can Woo! fire pretty far. Can you fire across the whole map, like only not through things that are in your view, or is there a range as well? They, like, they might cut that out, that they measure it. Fours! And, oh, oh, two damage each! Ah, oh, wipes the squad, takes me off the objective! Wipe it! This Wipe them! squad of Arcoflagellants will begin placing down the ritual objective here. You know, I'll fire at the, the white squad. Sure. Let's get it. Minus Ooh, one to wound. wound. Let's get four ups. Safe. You know, I know it's just cut together, but I wonder how much they think between these. Like, obviously it's cut out because it would be boring, but... I would love to to hear how they think or, or what, see what they think. Neither. Baba Philippines. The first one dies. The second one dies. We're firing the whole payload directly at the flyer. DC yeah, just nuke them. Four. Nuke them. Let's see what we got. I will go ahead and miracle dice with a four to hit the last one. Threes. Okay. Five. They say these numbers. Do they then have to roll these numbers or not roll them? I have eight wounds remaining. Three bolter. Threes. Sustain hits one. We're looking at fives to wounds. Oh, it goes through. Two damage. Hunter killer missile. It hits. Threes. It wounds. On a six. No. D6 damage. I already. Yeah, he said on a six and then didn't roll it and was disappointed. So I think you have to call stuff. Or at least perhaps that's in the rules. Miracle dice. I don't have a six. Miracle dice. God Emperor be with me. Oh, He's no. with us. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I probably probably just threw a six when he had to. God Emperor is with Bricky. Always. Hey. Oh wow, the sun shark gets popped. Faith in the emperor apparently is all it takes, folks. So the bomber didn't do 
anything? Did I get that right? Like, he just nuked it out of the sky. This is unfortunate for the bomber. It's probably pretty pretty expensive. Like, both in real, uh, real world money as in points you need to put it in the game. I did not expect him to kill it outright like that. Down to the wound. The amount of sixes this guy has rolled for damage. Yeah, it's just the occult empress with mean, Ricky. <laughs> I mean, I'm just good. Let's just say there's one faction that has faith and one that doesn't. One's rolling really good on their miracle dice and one's rolling not so good on their That's damage. so funny, Is it yeah. correlated? Maybe. Who knows? Cadre fire blow. If it is correlated, it doesn't matter. It has to be causality. Yes, I'm a prank. I've got to stick out my butt. Blade? I'm charging. <laughs> Let's begin. That's the jokes aside, that's a misconception many people have. Correlation doesn't mean anything. You'd have to have causation for it to matter anyway. Junith is into combat. Spending a five and rolling a six to get the Palatine in. We shall drop down ourselves and discard one Miracle Dice. Doesn't matter what it is, just a Miracle Dice in general. This gives us rapturous blows. He's got a card in his hand. I wonder what's on there. Is that a special rule? She has four attacks. Or is that the rules for his units? Or two, two, hitting on twos with lethal hits. Palatine with the blade at St. Eleanor almost marks that entire squad with the discarded Miracle Dice. I will take out my own blade. Fours. 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 <laughs> I think he did roll Power one. comes from this. How <laughs> Miracle Dice. <laughs> Junith Yeruta, with her mace of castigation. What does castigation mean? I don't know that word, unfortunately. It's probably a cool word. I'm alive with two wounds. Following up on this, we have four attacks with punching. The three is yeah, isn't that so unfair? Like, if Bricky wipes all his stuff, like, because... He kills a lot of stuff. Like, at least that's how I feel right now. Like, Bricky kills a lot of stuff. How does the other guy even have a chance? Like, I know they will kill other stuff as well. It's probably how the reinforcements come in, I guess. Again, four ups. Failed. Second one passes. One wound remaining. He fights you back. Oh. hi -ya! Oh. Slice. I do place a new objective. Ricky sits at 10 points to Nick. I don't know how he sits at that point. Is it when you uh, clear people from an objective, you get the points? I don't think so, but yeah. I don't even know if that's close. Or what. Five. He scored both secondaries this turn. Area denial. Okay. 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 So every turn they have to to. So they. I. I think they have to. No, it was the one from the beginning. So he scored that one from the beginning. I don't know how that works exactly. How you can get victory points other from those starting things. That's going to be big as we head into next turn two. Let's see what the tow, uh, tower tower doing. Dice. That's a three. Oh, I'm so apparently the tower already had their thing. Did I miss that? Yeah, I, I think they had showed it with Ricky uh, surviving some stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah sorry. Drawn, deploy teleport Homer and cleanse. I yeah, teleport Homer is the thing they used to port in. I think in the trailer of the new edition, they used that to port in some some stuff. I now have no units on any objectives, and I'm going to score no primary points on my turn. This is going to be tough. But I know I can bounce back in the movement phase. Yeah, how is that? Can you bounce back in this situation? I don't know how complicated it is, the situation, but how often is it that people bounce back? Or is it like with Monopoly, where if you don't know this, Monopoly is like basically decided after like, I don't know, four rounds, six rounds, something like that. And um, most of the times. And um, uh, yeah, I don't know. So how is this? Back. Because the matches seem to be long, it would be suck if that would be the case. These infantry are gonna run away as well. Oh. Oh. Scary. They're all scared. Ricky overwatching with the mid table squad, swapping out a miracle dice now at 433 and chewing away at that breacher unit. 14. Yeah, he's just, I think it's just decimating him. That's very interesting. Shots with bolters. Let's see those sixes. The Emperor continues. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, you killed two of the breachers remaining. The Kadra Fireblade falls back with a desperate breakout and it fails. 
my enforcer suit with a group. So let's uh, get a quick look at the battlefield. So yeah, this this part I I cannot do more, but like like this part is pretty clean. He's got a tank left, and the Tau have several things here. I don't know what they are. This might no, I think this is just the ruin of the bunker. So he's got these two, and this thing is in reserve, I think, yes. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Of crisis suits. I've also got a crisis suit commander. I'm gonna go on to your objective. Yeah, the crisis suit commander. I don't know what that is. Like, is that is that buffing the units? Can it only be played with those units, or is it just a cool name? Let's start off the festivities. Yes. Start right here. Now they're gonna use their one-shot secret missiles that I've been saving into their plus their big guns. Yeah, I, I actually think they have to be line inside. Like this fits. It's interesting. Did that like was the terrain set up to be like this or not? Tetra granting rerolls into the Exorcist, but it's still up. We're not holding it in. We're not holding it in. We're. we're what was that? <laughs> this is so I think the it's... amount of ones I rolled for. Yeah, he says dies like does not seem to be that good. For damage and wounding is just. Just need a minute. Just need a break. Do it. Can I handle this? Down to six. Well, that was absolutely terrible. The worst rolls I could have done. One command point for Nick on grenades. Two command points left. Yeah, he just throws a grenade at the command point. I guess that's how you can do it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will take one. So we're gonna fire this entire unit of crisis suits and the commander into this unit. They're how can you do that? They are behind cover, I think. So that's probably their special suit. Uh, <laughs> suit uh, trait. And again, a thousand billion dies for some reason. Five ups. All right, the squad is dead. No, Nick's got command points. I'd be tempted to re-roll that. The Farsight Marksman will support into the organ gun. Hitting on twos. Right. So is it that you try to take the tank stuff first, like you focus that, or is it just the tactics they use here? I would love to know that. Into the Exorcist now and fails two, Miracles the third, and the Exorcist has two wounds remaining. You need to take hazard this test? Yes. Take three wounds, let's go with the railgun. This unit of strike team yes. is going to spot this suit right here going to be supported by this into the railgun. Okay, so spotting means you can, I think you can attack them with the uh, range things through obstacles, I guess. Flagellants. You're going to shoot the flagellants. Damn it, I don't have my soundboard. Please add it in post. Uh, <laughs> Winning out of two, six devastating wounds. Six plus d6 damage. Oh, the pen. <laughs> so stupid how they always like throw all these dice. Probably is very meaningful. It's an engine dies, no explosion, but that is another three for miracle dice. I want to see an explosion though. Four up, feel no pain. Fails. I kill one of them. No, you do not. Oh, they have multiple wounds. They have two wounds. Oh, okay. Well, there's something. And then this unit, whole unit of fire warriors are gonna fire into this one wound <laughs> model. Aren't they not gonna end that thing? This is going to be exciting. It's so exciting. I'm going to roll them one at a time. Yeah. Three up. <laughs> <laughs> don't know what that roll means, but that was down. probably funny. But a miracle dice I do gain. We have the sky ray. So he's going to fire his big giant missile rack right here. It's going to fire its side. Yeah, shot. still that that, uh, that that thing, it, it fires through obstacles. So I guess there is a rule for that. Into the wounded flagrants. Into the flagrants first. You've killed everything. And then wounds you. So we roll oh. the wound rolls. That's another one. So let's Yay. see some sixes. None. Let's see some feel no pains. Quite a lot. Only one dies. And then it's the big giant missiles into there, and I better hit at least one of these. <laughs> Don't know what he's doing, but it's it's the attack on the weird tank thing. Them. Threes. No. No. <laughs> In the box. The exorcist is down. But a miracle dice I do gain. So I is that good if you gain a five miracle dice? I assume it is. Shoot at this because you have more mana? Hit once. I can't die. So four up. I fail. Two damage. Oh, is this for Celestine? It is. So you're seeing if this angel lady comes back alive. On a what? Two. Does Celestine resurrect? She does! <laughs> Celestine returns. 
Okay. Three more points for Nick what? on cleanse. That's going to give him eight secondary points total. Three command points for Nick as he's discarded deploy Homer. And, and one for Bricky. And we head to turn three. I need to make sure that in future turns, I deny his points because I need to score max primary in turn four and five. Because I'm not going to score any primary. What is primary? Or is primary the middle of what you saw in the beginning of the match? For next. For the most part, the organ being gone is a little scary, but I kept those reserves for a reason. Celestine is back. The right flank still has three engines in it. As far as I'm concerned, I think I just need to really tighten the noose right now. Yeah, I mean, the game is like, if it's only like three or four r rounds, that's not that long, but the rounds are long. I like that. Secondaries, he's drawn overwhelming force and engaged in all fronts. He's got new miracle dice now. He's it's very... One uh... uh... It is like, um, I don't know, it's like a pretty, like, like they just, like, like the, 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 the firepower in each step from the armies is very high, so to speak. So you don't have like these like more adventure type battles that like they go through, through, the, through the passages on the battlefield and through the canyons and stuff. Uh, I don't know. Two, three threes, a four, three fives, and a six. 15 primary points sees him jump up to 25 to eight. Three command points to Nick's four. Yes, Battleshock, let us oh, begin. Oh, wow. He has a lot of them, now. Like I'm sure you yes. would. And you would be correct there, Battleshock. Celestine, oh, one of her bodyguards, comes back alive. How? Do they just resurrect? What's the, the, what is their universe explanation? Are they, like, going into with the warp and coming back? Movement phase. Let's begin. Cannon S. True speed and power there. A six inch move for these girls right here taking the objective Check it. All three objectives. holding all three <laughs> do you just have to hold them for the whole turn or is it like i don't know if you're in there once you get points probably not i guess it's after every round you get the points <laughs> here so, comes celestine celestine is making her way in overwatch okay celestine getting overwatched here next down to three command points overcharging going for the kill Wow, 10 wounds at minus two. We will save one just in case we might need that miracle dice. Oh, wow. Play. That's pretty high. That's We're going for the big play. What's the big play? The big play. A command reroll using a four from his pool if he succeeds and she lives. All right, so you have to make this or you die. I have to make this or sell <laughs> Let's see perish. if he does. Oh, I love it. <laughs> no! What a big I, moment. Bricky down. I, I guess one is bad. The two command points and Celestine is gone. I get a miracle dice. <laughs> you do. A four. Let's bring in some reserves, shall we? Oh, he's got the weird things still left. The organ things. Here come the Repentia. Repentia, like whatever. Everything is so good with flamers. Like this Penitent Engine about to burn your Crisis Commander with 2d6 shots with flamers. Fours to wounds. Uh, oh. but it is so if they, like, I don't get this and i think that will be good to explain to me in the comments like they they throw all these dice and then they can just like choose stuff from there or what is happening because he now threw that when two units battle and not a co like and he's got a lot of good rolls here i think twin links oh no oh no oh no oh no oh no commander is down <laughs> the stupid snap that whiffs all the time comes now special ability called shield breaker yeah. rounds no involves no anything Oh, the Exodus rifle takes that commander down to one wound left. The Mortifier will fire at the same crisis as squad. <laughs> this special effect is also pretty funny. Hits. Fours. Two damage each, my friend. Down to yeah, I think you just have to uh, 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 roll the mount. Like, like they, they, I don't know, it's probably in the rules and they tell you the number, like three. And then you have to count the threes you Four. throw with this certain... We will fire and they just don't, like, take the same dice all the time because it would be too uh, time-consuming. One bolter. Hits. Wounds on a... Down to three over here. Two more guys off. Two. One and two. Fire multiple heavy bolters directly at the same white squad I just did, starting with this one. So yeah, he's mowing down his uh, infantry because I guess the tanks too well guarded and like, no, not guarded, um, the, the armor is too big on that one. Though it's like it shot down pretty important stuff, I guess. Fortifier. It's probably a choice he does. Uh, he make uh, he makes to not attack it because he wants Trish probably wants them off the command pond. Ah, five ups. So you killed the squad. 
and you have brought the Ethereal down to two wounds. Two damage. Kills him. All right, this squad in the center. Wow, he's got a lot of stuff in the center. Like, I don't know the specifics, but I think Bricky has a very good standing here. Though I know the tower range, so they might just blow it, like, like shoot into there. Has some shooting to do. Everything. Into the See this one unit? Nick spends a command point on go to ground. He's down to two. That's going to give him cover and a six up involve. Photon grenade now for Nick. One command point left. Trying to slow that penitent engine. Yeah, I think you can use these photon, like like these uh, special um, abilities when you want. I guess some of them at least. Using a five on a miracle dice and he rolls a five. He's in. Oh, wow. What a charge phase. Turn three for Bricky. The engines of doom are in. The more fun one. Uh, we want the repenture. They need to atone. So we'll take the six. <laughs> and we'll roll yes, the they need to atone. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, it's so sad. <laughs> the beaten man. I mean, he's like leading. Cannon S, get in there. What do you think about that guy? You think he's going to make it? No, I'll take him off for you. Uh, take him off. With his you. one wheel. Why are we talking like this yeah, now? Because they're New Yorkers. <laughs> We're consolidated into both of these units, I tell you what. And let's punch the fire, boys. I don't think I got much going yeah, on. Yeah, they are, like, just trying to shoot in now, the Tau. Like, and, like, Bricky has... It's also weird, why does he have this line here? Like, is that... Do, does he have to... Like, do they have to touch because they're one squad? Like, what I said with the... Like, the formations you can do with them, or... Power weapon, two shots, hits on threes. Got both. Wounds on threes. On sixes. I got one. Down to four. Canonist goes into the crisis suits, bringing down to two command points for Holy Rage. Holy Rage! Two AP zeros, and Nick fails both. <laughs> okay, so I'm still alive with one wound. Got I know. It. Okay. <laughs> Woo! My crisis suits are actually going to pile in to get closer. Crisis suits punch back. Really no effect. Turn three. <laughs> Too bad. Nick, my friend, I believe that I have uh, completed my turn. Bricky's jumped out to a huge lead here. He scores eight points wow. on his Wow. Out of command points, Nick has... Wow. Is that normal, or is it just because he had so much luck with the throws? One, but he's 33 to 8. With the rolls. Start of next turn three, he scores no primary. He's got to start scoring quick, or this game's going to run away from him. Sir. And then I'm going to draw two new objectives. Here, you draw for me this time. Excellent. Yeah, let's see. Assassination. Oh. Assassination. Score by destroying an enemy character. What does that mean? Is it not always scoring when you destroy an enemy character? I thought they all had like points. Oh, that would have been good last turn. An overwhelming force. Not just... you but... Okay, okay, I guess that one would make sense. I un understand space. that one. But a guided unit gets this thing too. These guys move 14. I'm gonna move onto this objective right here. Fireblade is gonna fall back around you and hold this objective. Starting with this unit of crisis suits. Understood. So they're gonna shoot everything into this unit right here. Here. Well, let's see if you can d damage them. Tetris. Point blank ambush for one command point for Nick. Yeah. yeah. Okay. See it. Commander two. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> this is so stupid with the dice. You still can't get over that. Sixes, baby. What, what is he doing? Like, did he did you see that he just took all the dice? Like, did the pile? What? <laughs> like, the, the way he took his... <laughs> Whatever. They die. <laughs> so it turns out, sustain hits when guided is pretty good. Sustain hits oh, wow. is really good. Yeah, they were they wiped. Made a path for turn four and turn five comeback. And more miracle dice for that massive death pile that Nick just created. Last command point, one command point to standard. Okay, so if your units die, you get also get miracle dice, I guess, to compensate Back that. Up at the end of the phase. Wow, that's a. Let's see it. I need two to wound. Too bad. Built in reroll. He does. Wound roll. <laughs> so he's gonna use it right now. Uh, you'll never reroll one to a one. Oh, <laughs> one into a one. Oh man, that's uh, <laughs> unfortunate. Yeah, he's got a lot of bad luck. I think I don't know. So we lose a battle sister squad, and we gain a miracle dice for doing so. The Firesight marksman guiding. Yeah, I think you get mana for losing units. I guess that makes sense. are going into the mortar fire engine. The big gun. And then all the missiles into the Repentia over there. Uh, strike seven. Strike seven. Twos. Oh, well, I, I, I don't know, like all the missiles. And, I don't know. I, I'm a bit lost on the uh, on the on the battle one on one things. I think I got the gist though. It's interesting. She dies. A four up. That you can get the gist from uh, like uh, just watching it. But yeah, I mean, I, no. I think some stuff no, is pretty obvious what they do, but. Oh. 
It seems pretty fun though. And lastly, my Firestart Marksman is going to try to kill this one character on the objective. Let's see it. Yeah. Uh, and it's one. Four pinball. No. Two damage. Down to one. All right. So at the end of the turn, we still have some combat to do. I do, and I. So I guess there's a fight phase, but they could also shoot before that. Is that because they're towers? Because they're like, why not? Well, certainly choosing these crisis suits makes sense. Fight phase now, and the cannonist kills a crisis suit. Arco flagellants. We're gonna activate their extremist trigger words. Six oh, now he's uh, trying to end this like Gauss cannon. I think it is. Trigger words? They're trigger words. Wounds on uh, sixes, of course, but we get twin link as well. Whoops, you can see, there we are. Which goes through. One damage, three miracle <laughs> dice. Sounds as if he really has bad luck. Wounds. Nick manages 10 points on secondary, 33 oh, at least as we that's... get to Bricky's turn four. So they said five turns. So I guess it's just five turns. Is that like, they can they determine that or is that the tournament rule or what is happening? Five points on primary for Bricky. He's pulled Storm Hostile Objective and Secure No Man's Land. Both players should have two command points. There's a Battleshock test I need to take here. Yes. Now, this is a big Battleshock test. If you fail this, you don't hold this objective, scoring zero on primary. Yes. Because all the other Battle Sisters have been removed. And as a three. Let's make some waves up in here. Okay, I don't know what he's doing, but Nick yeah. With he, 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 he summoned a weird thing, like weird. I don't know what that was. She dies, but she's going to be coming back at the end of phase because she hasn't stood back up yet. Yeah, like what is that? Like it's a like it's a chariot, space chariot. She's in second. Whatever. Hide behind here. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Penitent engine, backfield objective. Get the flamer. Get the points. Get the secondary. Everything needs to go up, and everything needs to start hitting. Hitting well, eh? But hitting regardless. Melters. Lots of them into your Tetras. <laughs> so yeah, like blow up the secondary tanks or whatever oh, the they call. Tetras have gone down. Interesting. Uh, could explode actually. Ooh. One explodes. Oh. One, one explodes. That's Unit cool. That's so cool that I can explode. That makes so much sense as well. I'm glad something it's finally exploded. I know I don't see it, what but is more, what is more sisters than bathing in holy fire? Why do I keep failing? <laughs> Because you don't believe in the Empire. Four wounds on this crest unit. We will fire some heavy bolters into the same. This is 12. But it has sustained one. Sixes, however. Down to 10 wounds of rating over here. She's yeah, he almost five. beat his very big tank thing as well. Pistol is... <laughs> Bam! Wounds on a two. Yep. Don't save it. One damage. Okay, down to two. With that, let's go ahead and do a little bit of charges, shall we? The Cannon S. She go in. Bricky's charge phase now, and here comes the farm. Okay, the farm. Um, why? The sky right here. And then immediately we use a six miracle dice to make it instant. Oh, dead Kadra Fireblade. The Mortifier into the hammerhead. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it looked very overwhelmingly uh, on Bricky's side here, all of it. Like, like, was it at any point, like, very tense after round two? Can someone, like, tell me? Because, like, after round two, when... I think when Bricky blew up the tag, I was already like, okay, isn't he like winning now? We are I guess it's three. some luck stuff one. that Force. is involved. On sixes! Down to four wounds remaining. Now the other mortifier, same shindig. We love it. And then we are wounding on fours as well. Sixes? Nope. Down to ten wounds remaining on the sky rate. Gunships and stuff. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, I think now that he does not have the heavy hitting stuff anymore, he needs more time, so to speak, to... Uh, wound the tanks and stuff. So I guess it was a tactical thing he did in the beginning that he like tried to take them out quickly. I wonder if that's always a viable tactic though. Gunship hits you once. All right. Uh, fails. Hey, you take one wound. The other Arco flagellants are gonna hit you. Fours. Hazardous rolls. We got one. Oh no, feel the pains. Oh, killed one. <clears throat> My cannon over there. T twos. <laughs> Fives. Uh, save one. One goes through. One damage. One damage. Down to three. And a turn four. Bricky scores ten more points on secondary. Oh wow, that's a lot. I don't know how, but twenty-eight secondary, twenty primary, forty-eight points to Nick's eighteen. This is in trouble. Yeah, it is in trouble. Like, what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? My daughter is wondering the same thing. So. Nick has got about a heretic's chance. This is a long shot, but it's not out of reach. Investigate signals. Okay. 
Score points for selecting units to perform actions within each corner of the battlefield. <laughs> That's so random, and they have to move away from objectives as well. I guess he doesn't have much stuff left, so he might do that. Okay, and secure no man's land. I'm gonna spend two command points. Yeah, I think some of the objectives are because no man's land is obviously the the fighting battle zone, so they had them in the beginning. So I guess that's yeah, he's not gonna do that. To get rid of investigate signals. New orders. Bring it down and secure no man's land. Here we go. He's got to get on objectives or. Okay, monsters and vehicles are like basically the same category class thing I get from that one. That's interesting. He's gonna lose the game. My secondary draws aren't great, but I need to score them. I mean, it's I like 10 minutes or five minutes left, so he's gonna lose the game, but... And I'm still not scoring any primary. You know what's cool? I had like a, a, a channel where they had like some tournament stuff as well. And they um, put in like blank, um, blank material at the end. So you didn't know when the battle would end. So you watched it and you couldn't go by the timestamps how long you were away from the end because you know they filled it up to a certain time every time so you never knew who won by the time i like that Great. so here i That's guess we know bricky wins me. which I'm is fine like they are both fun people though i like that time. they all Far both side. are very Great enthusiastic i really do like objective. people like that that is three inches away and five inches up they're gonna shoot into there they're gonna guide the broadsides as they fire into the melt Would you also win if you destroy all enemy units? I guess perhaps not. Perhaps the storyline is then that they like beamed up information to a mothership or something, and that's why they did not win. Or win when uh, won. But the crises are gonna fire into combat. Also, that's... just to make it complicated, the guided unit right here. Let's fire this. That is a wound, and it's devastating. Plus one. Seven wounds. Seven wounds. How is that five up? Feel no pain treating us right now. <laughs> Very well. It lives with one. Oh, no! <laughs> it lives with one. That must suck so hard. I know these situations. I hate them. And the I always am in them, those there. situations. Okay. Retributor Squad takes a death. Judith is getting shot now. She's dead. Miracle Dice Tally is at a one, a two, four threes, and a five. There's another one for him on Miracle Dice. I need overcharge with one, two, and yeah, I'm not sure. I think Bricky's Bricky has less units now, though it's still he still seems to be winning. That's so interesting. Fortunately, I hate it, but I need to do it. This is way more shots than I started with. Two, four ups. Uh, she's dead. The suits succeed at hazardous rolls. That is huge. He needs them. Skyward's gonna fire first. He's gonna fire his side guns that are out Like they side. talk as if he can still win, but I don't know. Is that would have, would the set be likely that he won still? The side spawns it into the one wound character right here. I need to kill it. Or lower beats. Uh, so I hit you once. It wounds! It wounds! Let's let's save. go! No. Oh, right, Miracle Dice. Ooh, the mortifiers are doing work and Nick can't kill them. Hammerhead into the other mortifier engi engine. Into the one wound mortifier. Yeah, like, that's also so funny. Like, like, like uh, in universe, like, all his weird things here. I don't know what they are. Like, it might be the organ people with the organs. Uh... They're like up, up in its, up, up in his tank's asses. <laughs> what, like, like they can't kill them. That's so stupid. Their hits. Finally, one goes down. And if I can sink this charge, I will get secure no man's land. Oh yeah, oh, eleven. Yes. All right, so charging in with the crisis suit commander. Five, six, seven. Either way, I'm Perfect. in. So I guess he managed to get that. But it's defended by that thing. Or is that his thing? I can't tell, I'm sorry. Bricky overwatches from his penitent engines. Both suits at one wound left, but no command points. That could be big. Well, okay. Well, that's the end of my charges. Let's go ahead to the penitent engine over there. Five. Like, now now Nick charged first. Like, what is the order? Or are they, like, taking turns? I guess that would make sense as well. Fives and re-rolling. Uh, hammerhead crushes into the... Four ups. Ah, uh, loses one. Flagellant will go with next then in that case. Six How is that three, thing so five. tanky? I guess because Super his anti-tank things are dead. Full twin linked. Down to two wounds. Down to two. Ten more points on secondaries for Nick. 48-28 as we head to Bricky's turn five. So I've kept him off primaries for most of the game. I'm getting barely any points at all, but he also isn't either. But he's turn two, and he can really spike primaries at the end. I need to get these secondaries done, and I need to delay, delay, delay things, everything, into his boats, hold back his crisis suits, hold as much as I can, dot it around the battlefield, and just 
hopefully wipe him off where I can. Interesting. So he thinks, like, I know that he did this afterwards, but would he think he could still lose here? Or does he lose? I, I, I'm right, so confused. Battle shock. Very important. Yep. We have two battle shock targets here and here. You know what? I might want to use strategy on him. Arco Flagons have a seven inch move. So, you know. Broadsides overwatching into the moving Arco Flagons. <laughs> They're like on this mountain and like backstabbing the thing, the tower thing. A lot of command points. Penitent Engine will flame everything you know and love. <laughs> <laughs> and also the things you hate. Threes! Threes here. To right. wound, made two, we will miracle dice the last. I, I still, does he need to roll the three or does he just have to add, add up to multiples of three? Like, no sixes. I'm sorry, I don't get that because I just don't know it, but yeah. One of them. One of them dies. One of them dies. They held out pretty long Marco though. Flagellants into the mid table. Boom, what a charge. Let's, let's fight. All right, into the fireside marksman. Hits on fours with sustained. Oh, one dead marksman. I will consolidate onto the objective. Okay, yeah, yeah, that, that, that's what I meant. Like, they backstep the marksman thing on the top. That's very interesting. Very, very interesting stuff. Because, you know, I can't tell who's winning. Like, I know the points, like, the, he had, like, this um, advantage in round two and three. But I don't really, honestly don't know. It feels like Ricky's winning, but, like, I, I can't tell. But I love the way this, the, the tactics work. Like, there is... I think there are a lot of tactics, though there is a lot of luck as well. There's more luck than I thought there would be. But I mean, otherwise, it would probably be unbalanced. So. Oh, I need a four up. Feel no pain. Do it. Oh, he <laughs> does die. Deny you points. And a miracle ice. Now oh. six. Six. The Imagifier. But, but, but look at that. He's 28 and uh, Bricky is 48. Like, how does that work? Bricky even has one CP left. Like, Three isn't stars. that very favorable? Miracle wound on the enforcer and it lives. Eight more points for secondary for Bricky. He's See? gonna end the game with 36 secondary and 20 primary. That's 56 points. Yeah, see, that was the game. I guess there were five rounds. I don't know if they like, if that is something you make uh, uh, like you um, said before the game or if it's always five runes, right, so runs, runs. Nick runes, sits runs. at 28. I'm not sure if Nick can catch at this point. Everything has to come up, Milhouse. Oh no, there is no sixth round. No, no, his fifth round is okay. Okay. Well, there's only one thing left to do, and it's a hail mary to see if I can bring this game home. How? How? You like? You don't even have half the pawns. Yes. How? Is that possible? Can you do that? There is a path forward. There is a chance here. If. Or is he just doing that for the camera? By the end of my turn, control three objectives to score 15 points and complete both of my secondaries. I can turn this game around. That sounds like something you can't do. Like, 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 I, I don't know though. So start my turn. Command point. Storm hostile objective, and engage in all fronts. Twist of fate. I will not overwatch you with my flamers, but instead my melters. Does that matter? Is that important? Six. It's all you need. How many dice are in that box? Uh, four, five, six, seven. Right. I said eight. You said eight. Roll it on dice then. Oh! Ah, it was all set up! It was all set up! What? What's he doing? Faith, which means two wounds on threes! And they both wound! You need four up, sir. You make this right now. I, <laughs> I don't know what he just did. It's only a troll. It means my gamble to get the objectives fails. I can't get an engage all fronts. I can't get enough primary points, which means despite me even moving here to get an additional five points. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like it like they make it out as not one-sided, but but I felt like I think there there was like one place in round three where I thought, okay, perhaps it turns, but like I don't know, it felt very one-sided, like the the last third of it. Was that skill? Was that luck? It felt like luck though, which is a shame, but I mean that's the fun as well. Like they had fun with that. Points here means I will only score five more points, putting my game far behind yours. Good game, well man. Done. That's it. That's all, folks. That was the chance, and he's done. 66 <laughs> nice. 38 in favor of this episode's victor, Bricky. 10 points for battle ready armies. What? Why? <laughs> what? Well done. And you have more than earned. 
These victory dice. Yes. <laughs> it's so funny. Thank Hold you on. very Hold much. I, you really had Nick out thinking himself, sir. Well played. And Nick, better luck next time. Those miracle dice really were the death of you. Really? That, that, that's what it was? I, I don't know. It might be. Thanks to this episode's sponsor, GameMat.eu. We absolutely love their ready-to-play-with terrain. Yeah, it's like the, 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 tra the terrain is cool. I only like it. Oh, Bricky will say something more. Let's see. That was a serious nail-biter. It was down... It was? <laughs> oh, good. Okay, if he says that, I trust him. ...onto the wire. Second turn always has those big spikes and points at the end. The Tau shooting was really hurting. Everything was delaying. But, you know, enough Miracle Dice, enough usages here and there. It was really damn close. A fan... How? I, why? It wasn't what? It was? Was it really? Is he just saying it for the video? I just don't know. It was fun to watch it. Like... I got some of the things. I think I just I didn't get the um, close range combat, like like not close range, like they are the little like skirmishers they had. I didn't get them with the dice, but I pretty much got the rest. I think like with the CPs and stuff. So fantastic game of forty k, where all these tiny minutia really matters. This is fantastic. This is a great setup. There's so much stuff. The terrain, the lighting, this is a, this is a whole thing. The army. Yeah, I like this was a very big product uh, production value. Fully Liked painted. it a lot. It, it looks great. The nice combo between still being a real game, but still having that that old forty k flavor. The, the real story being told. What, what story? There was not really a story being told. But anyway, anyway, that's it for that's it for today. Watching the game, I really enjoyed that. Like that was fun. It was very fun to watch. Like like I know I didn't get some specifics, but. Sounded fun, though I still wonder, like, how much dependent on luck is it and when do you think it is decided? Because for me, as an idiot who doesn't know anything, it was decided in round two, but apparently it wasn't, so I didn't get that. So what was the thing that made Ricky think he could lose all the time? Like, he said that, or was that just for the video? That is just something I don't know. I just don't know, but what a fun game. What a fun game. There's a lot of dice, though. <laughs> There's more dice than I thought there would be. And it's also quicker than I thought in, in, in that um, they moved and fired like five, five rounds, and that's it. So it wasn't like very interesting stuff, though. I loved, I loved watching this. Um, yeah, so I, now I know a bit how to play it. I think that's brilliant. Um, like, like, I don't really know the rules and stuff, but I've seen the game was very fun. Like the production on this video was also very high. So again, give them a like, give them a watch. And uh, they really deserve that. They put a lot of work into this. Um, get Ricky Vaughn because you know the thing about if you know a person, you're rooting for them most of the time. Save for the situations where that person's a dick. Ricky's not a dick. He's an awesome dude as far as I can tell. So I was rooting, of course, for Ricky. Um, but uh, glad he, he he won against his hated Tao. And... Uh, yeah, very nice stuff. I think next will be uh, uh, Johnson. Um, so some Primark action. And as well, as I said, consider giving me, uh, like if there's a law link to Warhammer, like the normal one, I would love to see that as well. And uh, yeah, other than that, consider liking and subscribing, ring the bell for more content, of course. And um, tell me what you thought of the in uh, intro a bit. And perhaps, I don't know if you want, and uh, other than that, I hope you have a great day. See you soon. And uh, yeah, let's see what Warhammer has in stuff for me in the future. Until then, bye.